Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my jungle. I hope you guys are doing well. We have baby Davey here. He's the star of today's show. Today we're making chop. We're making budgie chop because I am continually trying to get Davey to eat veggies. And although he's eaten a little bit, I feel like the last chop that I made him was kind of not researched. I just grabbed things together and just made him something and it ended up too liquidy, A, because I didn't even have a chopper. I just put it in the blender and tried not to blend it too much. And I feel like it was a little bit of a fail because he doesn't really eat it as much as I would like him to. So we're trying another recipe. And this time, I did a lot of research on budgie diet, and I definitely feel it's so important for your budgie to have vegetables. So I actually bought the Bertrix uh, cookbook for parrots, um, and I have the summer recipe here and I wanted to try it on my budgie. Now, I don't have everything in that recipe, so I kind of swapped certain things. So I'm gonna share that with you guys. We're gonna do it together and we're gonna see if he likes it. He hasn't had breakfast yet this morning, so um, I really need to give him some breakfast. So yeah, I thought it would be fun. We would do it together. If you're new, hi, welcome, subscribe, hit that notification bell so notified of all my future videos. I upload every single Saturday. I really love Bird Tricks channel. One of my favorite things is how much they stress about diet and how important that is. And I think that that's, that's very true. I mean, budgies are parrots. Just like it's important for a bigger parrot to have ve vegetables and fruits and stuff like that, it's important for budgies as well. So I definitely am all about that. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If there are any like chop recipes that you really like or your bird really likes, comment below and share those with me. Share ingredients that you find that your bird really likes. I would love to see what works for you guys. And yeah. Let's just get started, let's get into it, um, and yeah. Okay, so I already cooked some pasta, some penne pasta, um, and I also cooked some brown rice. So here's some brown rice already. I have little bits of like burnt pieces. Oops, my bad. <laughs> but here's some brown rice, and then right now I'm cooking lentils, and um, I'm cooking millet. Um, I also have cauliflower. Like I said, I'll put the list below. I have cauliflower. I have this smoothie blend, which is uh, kale and spinach. I also have some radishes. I have some carrots. I have some beets. I have a red bell pepper because I didn't have red chili peppers. And I have a little bit of squash. I'm not sure if this is squash or zucchini. I don't, I'm not sure what that is. I've had that forever. So yeah, we're gonna mix all this up and we're going to create something delicious for our tiny birds. He's like, what the freak? I also have here the cooked um, millet, so I'm gonna mix that in there as well. The first thing I'm gonna do is chop up the uh, penne pasta that's super soft because it definitely needs to be chopped up smaller. sure I always drain everything so that there's no extra liquids. Now I'm gonna do spinach and kale. Now we're gonna do cauliflower, the whole cauliflower. I only ended up doing half a cauliflower because I realized since I'm missing ingredients, I didn't want to do too much cauliflower for all the different ingredients I have in there. So I'm gonna save that for some for the bunny. <laughs> and I am gonna do some carrots now. These are just some baby carrots that weren't on that recipe, but I'm just gonna add some in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up. 
and I'm gonna make sure to grate this um, rather than chop it and I'm going to take off the top of the peel here. You can do zucchini and squash. I don't have any squash, I just have zucchini. Now I do want to mention and clarify that this is not the full Bird Tricks summer recipe. I am definitely would not give that out because they do uh, have a cookbook that they charge for and that would just be messed up for me to share something that they created to make to help uh, them make money for their living and of course help parrots. For me to just share that for free, that'd be so messed up. So this is just kind of inspired by their recipe and by just the things that I've learned from them and their cookbook um, about basically vegetables and uh, things that birds like. Um, so this is not their full recipe. These are just, and some of these things aren't even in their recipe. This is just things that I've kind of read that they like and I've kind of put them together with pieces of things that are, have been in their book. But I just want to clarify, this is definitely not like you're getting something, their recipe at all. This is literally like mix and pieces of different recipes that I kind of mixed together to try for my budgie. Um, so I just want to clarify that because <laughs> I definitely don't want anyone to get upset or for them to get upset that I'm sharing something for free that, they're, that they charge. I definitely would never do that. But anyways, uh, this is how it ended up looking this thing is big too but this should last for a month and i'm definitely going to separate it in different bags and put it in my freezer um but yeah this is how it looks so far what do you think buddy i haven't even mixed it yet i think he likes it what do you think buddy do you like it is it exciting Okay, so I'm gonna mix it up now. Look at that. So good. <laughs> He's trying to eat it while I'm mixing it. How funny. Do you like it? I think he likes it. Guys, he's actually eating the vegetable. So he never eats chop, by the way, without any seeds. So I'm definitely not gonna put any seeds in here, but it, this is just amazing on its own. So it must be delicious, cause he never, never ate chop. Let me, let me just clarify that. The chop that I would put out, he would just take the seeds out of it, cause I would add seeds, and he would not eat the veggies. And the fact that there's no seed in here, except for just a little bit of that millet, but he hasn't even found that yet, is amazing. 